What's up guys and welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Today we are going to be checking out the one, the only, Lamb Truck, baby. The Lamborghini Urus. My goodness, dude. I, I'm going to be honest, when these things first came out, I wasn't the biggest fan. I, I kind of felt like, you know, why would you ever need this? Why would you want this? But um, over time, they've really grown on me. I think the styling's incredible. Obviously somewhat practical you know it's it's a practical lambo it's not as fast but it's got more space you can carry the kids around throw a golf golf bag in it you know do do whatever you got to do so it's it's kind of cool i like it maybe one day have like a, a you know dad car or something be be pretty sick look at this thing dude let's go ahead and explode it oh look at that just nasty this thing is incredible wow all right, so yeah, we're going to be checking this thing out today. Let's see designs and paint, see what people are working with. I'm thinking we're going to go with an off-road build here, race an SUV around a little bit. Looks like we've got some greens. So, ooh, the tan. The tan actually looks pretty good, the tan and black, and you've kind of got some Tron lines in there. We've got kind of more of a, a, like a hybrid look there with the green. We've got more of a yellow for Lamborghini. I'm going to say, to be honest, I, I kind of like the look of the tan. A little bit of a, a unique twist on on something pretty similar. We got a two-tone tan and black with the Tron. We'll take it. I mean, it's not it's not even really tan. It's a little bit more gold, I would say, than anything else. Got a Lambo logo on the uh, on the gas cap, also on the back. I mean, I I don't know that I necessarily love the Lambo logos on there, all big and in your face. But this this thing's interesting. It's unique. Let's go for it. One thing we are going to need is a, uh, a little bit more of an aggressive wheel on here. So I'm thinking we're definitely going to want to go a bit bigger. Probably all the way big. And then we're... I mean, we can go ahead and put the off-road... I'm going to say off-road race compound tires. Oh, that's nasty. Those are super aggressive. And let's see what we can change. I mean, this, the stock Lambo tires on it don't look bad. The thing is, we want something pretty sleek, but also pretty aggressive. And also unique. I mean, I don't, I don't mind that. The circles are obviously weird, but I like that the ADV1 is that same gold color. It's a good place to start. Nothing too crazy. We're gonna get off road and, and see what kind of trouble we can get into. No performance upgrades or anything like that. Just kind of making her look a little bit better. Oh, she sounds so nasty, so aggressive. Look at this. But I mean, this would be pretty cool. You know, obviously having a, a you know, supercar would probably be a bit more exciting, but I mean, as an, a, a daily driver going to the grocery store and stuff, rather than driving your Toyota Highlander, imagine being able to whip a, a Lamborghini around. You're up off the, the road, you've got better visibility and stuff like that, but you look down at your, your you know, center of your steering wheel and you see a Lambo logo. That'd be pretty cool. This thing is, is pretty dope. I'm just going to do some cross country racing here. We're going to get really, uh, really out to the sticks. Should be fun. Go ahead and see what you can do. I don't know if I love the hood. I wish I could remove those three three vertical lines on the hood. Overall, this thing's pretty sick, though. Ooh, a little bit stormy. Ribera Rocosa. Cross country. Let's get into it. See what they got. Your boy's out here blending into the sand. I'm like a viper ready to strike. Here we go. We've got some Jeeps, we've got some Beamers out here. This is not a a style of race that we, we mess around with much, to be honest. I don't really hop into many of the SUVs. I mean, this is ridiculous. Look at the, the... Look at the weather right now. This is outrageous. Woo! Getting some air. I already broke our sunroof, but that's okay. I think we're going to break a lot more than that today. Gonna drive this thing till the wheels fall off. Don't get too crooked here, Trev. Gonna be going to the right. Just gonna try to uh, try to preview. I don't think I've done this race at all before. We got a Range Rover in front of us. There's a jump over to the right. My man Hollow just sent it. I respect it, dude. Maybe not the quickest way from point A to point B, but that was sick. We're gonna have to definitely. Oh, I was gonna say we're gonna. We're going to have to hit that on the, the way back around the second lap, but I don't think there's going to be a second lap. Here we go, baby. Take that on the inside. Come on, Scott. What you got, buddy? Up there and what is that, a Range Rover? Like I said, I haven't really... 
messed around with this class of vehicle too much. Looks like we're going right, and then a hard left. Make sure we swing all the way right as much as possible. Cut it back across. We got 25% to go. Ooh, got him on the inside. Let's go. Do we? I mean, we're. This is a hurricane right here. <laughs> what? Dude, we just, I, I just broke every bone on my body. Have you guys seen that, uh, the raptor jump on YouTube? It's really old at this point, but somebody got a raptor sent it off of a, like a motorcycle ramp. Got like 20 or 30 feet of air and just uh, airbags, everything just insta exploded. That's, that's what just happened right there. Dude, that was sick. That's the first time I've ever done that race. I really enjoyed it. There aren't too many races in this game that we haven't done before i guess there's a cross country here we just really don't do the cross countries do we got a nice sunny day this time around so we're gonna switch things up see if she performs just as well out here let's go baby look at that getting new accolades and challenges and stuff oh we i mean we're we're looking a little bit rough on road here i would imagine that's those big chunky tires that we've got but that's all right I'm gonna pick it up as we frolic through the fields here. Dude, these cross country races, they're honestly no, like you really have to be careful about where you're setting yourself up. I feel like these things carry quite a bit of speed. It's, it's fun. They've done them really, really well this year. Come around to the right here, try to just keep it all in one line, go up the bank, little power slide, hello. Nice to meet you, just just got to know you. Just gonna give you a little love tap. Jump down into the canyon, dude, look at this. Dude, look at this incredible view. We're gonna pretend like that last one never happened. All right, up on the two wheels. We got a hard right, ouch. Come on, y'all. What are you doing, not paying attention to the road signs or what? That's what I'm talking about. You gotta set yourself up. Dude, this is insane. We've been missing out. These. these these cross-country tracks are legit. 50% of the way through. Ooh, red urus there. Hey, hey, what's up? We're going into some sort of a tunnel here. Is this normally available? Ooh, I think it is. I, th I think we might have been in here before. Let me... Ooh, okay. We got some weird lighting happening here. We're good. Back onto the other side. On the road for a little bit, but not for long. There is so much bumping and tumbling and bouncing around going on. I can hardly, hardly tell what's happening. Feeling pretty confident about this, though. We're actually kind of dominating in this one. Just gonna keep that momentum, keep her pins. Hit some whoops there. Don't miss your checkpoints. Gotta jump over the train tracks. How did you get there? I stayed flat the whole time, just full throttle. Somehow almost caught us. Let's take a second. Costa Este cross country. I mean, what? I, this is just gonna be a, a cross country episode, man. We're running marathons out here. No terrain is getting in our way unless it's a box truck that just randomly, you know, appears out of nowhere. I, I don't think we're gonna be able to get across that. Come on, game. Um, hello. Yes, I would. I would like. I would like. I would like to play it. Sometimes you come out of uh, like a, a race or whatever and it's it's giving you all the accolades and stuff. It doesn't let you. So here we go. Let's see if we could go three for three. Uh, I mean, feeling pretty confident. Look at the wing on that Range Rover. Here we go, baby. Another bright and sunny day. I did bump up the difficulty, so it changed up our, our drive guitars on us. Missing that. Ugly. Oh, nope. Uh, that's not a Range Rover. That's not a Porsche. Missing the Range Rover, but that's okay. Let's see what we can do. I mean, these are nice. They're, they're fun, but they're fast. We've got jumps. I didn't realize there were so many jumps in cross-country events. We've got water. We've got all sorts of weird terrain and stuff that we've got to watch out for. We've got a bunch of cars we can just bounce off of and take advantage of, baby. There we go. I'm going to come across through here. Woo! Cutting her close, but we're getting her done, baby. Sometimes you just gotta take a lap on the- Ooh, there's the ugly Range Rover. They just moved him up. You're welcome, bud. Maybe slightly better positioning. Come on, baby. Ooh. See, now I feel like- I believe we were on Pro before. Now we're on Expert. And Unbeatable's above us. 
Now I feel like we're kind of getting dogged in the, the straight line a little bit. Although, to be honest, it might just be this race has more straights than the other ones. 51%. I like a good challenge, though. We're up in a P2. Kind of almost. I do kind of want to check out the, the Jeep. I think that'd be kind of a good, good off-roader. Got a bit of a paved path here onto the asphalt. Let's see if we can catch him. We're good. We should be able to get him here. It's always the corners. We just, it, we're more aggressive through the corners. We, we shave, shave off that little extra bit to go that much farther. I mean, that, those are going to slow us down, though. Those are a big deal. Those really kill your momentum in this game, and that's what these races are all about. I think he got us, dude. Wow. That was, that was just dirty. I'm going to back this up here. I mean... I feel like he kind of did that on purpose. You know, we probably could have gone a little bit wider. Now he's... Not, oh, Red gave him a taste of his own medicine. Thank you for handling my lightweight, bro. Thank you. Get rid of him. Take him out. I'll give you a piece of the... A piece of the pie later. Oof. We were just kind of in a bad spot right there. I wanted to rip the e-brake and we couldn't. All right. Well, three for three with an asterisk. A pretty sick Lambo, though. Like, let's let's be honest. Even when the, the dirt and mud gets caked on there, it almost looks like it's a part of it because it's kind of dirty and dusty as it is. What's that TikTok song? Um, I, uh, Big Body Pins, remember I used to be dusty? Big Body Lamb, remember I used to be... All right, I'm going to see you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching. Catch you all later. Peace out.